Okay, and hello everyone, and today guys, I'm going to teach you here how to create um, your own Blender game. It's going to be the basics here, um, you probably wonder how to create this game here, um, when you saw my Pac-Man game, and that base game. So let's go ahead here and go to Blender game, that's one of the most important parts, and also click this little um, thing here, and press game logic. Okay, now it automatically sets you here like that. So we want to switch here to perspective mode. So now um, it's more in like the real world. Okay, so there's some other things that I'm not going to really cover um, today. But go ahead and select your cube. Right now, if you press P to play, there's really nothing you can do. It's just a cube. So press ESC, escape to um, exit the game. Okay. You can change your object. Um, I'm going to keep it a cube in this case. First of all here, I'm actually going to do this a little differently. Um, you want to shift A, add a mesh, and add a plane. And um, I'm going to go a little bit slower here. But I'm going to scale this thing up. Oops. Undo that. But press T to do that. History. No, I just use that. I select the plate. Okay. Okay, I think we have that on. Yeah, we have that on. We're not turn that off. Sorry, guys. Turn that off if you have that on. Oh, no, we don't need it now. Okay. Now it's working properly. Pull it up a little bit. And pull the cube up just a little bit above the plane. Now you're gonna select the cube and make it sort of static or make it dynamic. You wanna do it on this physics tab. Okay, now if you play here, you see that there's this ground and it just lands on the ground. It's an actual object. When it's static, I'll show you why you don't want it. Well, I mean, not in that case, but. Yeah, it just, you want, well, I'm going to do dynamic. You can do character or anything. I'm doing dynamic. Actually, I'm going to do character. I think it's a little easier that way. Okay. So let's do cube and press add sensor at the bottom here. So this is all the controls. So I'm going to be doing keyboard and press a key. So I'm going to be doing the up arrow and you can select the name. You know, you can do, you know, forward. Add controller, I'm going to do add for now. That's what we're doing, you know, this is the basic. Then go to motion. So now you want to go to the Y, and depending on what direction you're going to be facing. You want to go forward like that. That's going to be um, going positive. So make it positive. You can choose how fast it goes. Don't make it go like 10, because I'm going to show you what happens when it does. We haven't done, we haven't selected that yet. I'm gonna connect those. We need to just drag it out like that. Okay, so play. So you just like goes you know, at the speed of light. So I'm gonna be doing zero point um zero five. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Because now um if we play, it goes at a decent speed. Okay, sorry, that was I was gonna do that was, I don't know what direction I was even facing. We're facing this direction for now. Well, let's choose a camera real quick. Press N to show that tab. And press 0 for everything. And once you got that, I'm gonna. So, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have the camera focus on the cube. You can uh, make it anywhere. I'm just gonna have it focus on the cube. Press 0 to get into um, camera mode. The cube is kind of camouflaged, so I'm going to select that, go to the, what, the ball thing here, that's the color, and press diffuse, so on the diffuse, and select the color. I'm going to have it be, um, let's make it, uh, green. Okay, so now we press zero, now you can see here, you can kind of see where you want to position the camera. Now if you play, you can see it just kind of gets out of the camera's view. 
Now, while you have, you have the camera, the camera selected, selected, you press shift, select the cube, control P, and press object. Now, if you play, you see here, um, the camera is following the cube. You can't see very clearly because, you know, this is the plane, it's not really moving, but if we can, if we go to, I don't know, let's just make a maze. And now you press W to subdivide. So press subdivide. And then you can choose the number of cuts over here. So we're going to be creating a maze. We're going to make it pretty simple. So let's have seven. Okay. Now you will you press face select right here. And just, I'm going to use circle select. Just select the walls. Not in the, so this is the, this is gonna be the start. So I'm gonna like make this all different here. I'm gonna add some you know, loops and turns and if you don't uh, deflect it, um, press shift and then just start selecting those. Okay, so I um, actually need to need to make this here. There we go. You can also just kind of click. It kind of works. Okay, we need to make this little... Um, uh, hmm. I think that's good. Okay, press um, just right click to escape. Um, now we're gonna, we're just gonna go ahead here, have a new car. That's gonna be the um, the spot up here. So um, I'm gonna choose black. So you know that whole thing is black. Don't panic. Um, add a new color, and I'm gonna select it. What just say? Okay, now you want to press assign. And now you see here, now it's blue. But don't right click, don't click yet um, to cancel. Okay. Press E, that means extrude. And then we're gonna do, I'm gonna do one. Actually, that's way too low. Um, I'm gonna probably do uh, two. That's still way too low. Um, sorry, let's just do three. Like in Pac Man. Now, you see here, if we go into object mode again, it looks like a maze. Yeah, so let's select the cube. You can see the camera's following it. You want to scale it down a little bit. See, the camera scales down with the cube, since it's parent, which kind of means, it's kind of like one object, except it's like following it. I don't know how to explain. If you go to zero and we play, you see here, it's just walking through the maze here. Of course, you can always exit camera mode or just have the camera be, you know, outside here. So, you know, you can move around. Okay. So now first you want to do, go ahead here. Actually, let's just use this. Press sun. And just move this to the center. No. Okay, you can see here it's lit up a little bit more. Play around with the lamps. If we play like this, you see it's, it's lit up pretty well. Um, okay. I'm not gonna do um, not much, but shift C. Shift J, add mesh, <coughs> and a cube. So, um, this is going to be basically the finish line. I'm going to use this, so it's a little easier for you guys. Just to kind of drag. Because, so. and you see here, you have a little kind of plate here. Drag it along here, so it's kind of like a little barrier. Now if we can make this a little bit thinner, drag this like that. Alright. So, um, 
Can you a little bit more? And now here we want to add sensor collision. So now I'm going to add a game prop property for this thing and do you know I don't know and that's what I'm going to do. and remember exactly how you spelled it the capitalization. Now select the cube. Oh come on. Select the cube. Add a game property. I'm going to do cube. Remember how, exactly how you spelled it in the capitalization stuff. So press, just type Q here for that. For collision. Add a controller and an and controller. Drag that over and connect it. Add another actual here and do game. And then we want to do, um, you can do quick game or start game. Um, there's also others you add levels. I'm not going to do that for now. Um, because, uh, right, why is there a hole here? Uh, I didn't load. Okay, yeah, apparently there's a hole here, so we're gonna go press this material, assign E3. Okay. Now we figure it out. Okay, that's more like it. So now um, we can H to hide that. Press that. Um, so add sensor. <coughs> yeah, I, I, I know that's fun actually. Um, but you can do it if you want. But um, you can do collision and you know, end game. I'll just like that. But now you want to add the controls here. I'm just, you know, have some, um, some fun messing around with these. Um, you know, I just find it fun just doing all these. Um, uh, you want to make sure the key here is assigned to what key it's going here. So if we try that, you see here, this is going negative. If you look down there, if you move it, there's like the sign. You can use that if you want, if you're not sure. This is going to be negative on the x-axis. So if we press negative 0 0.05, there you go, it's negative on the um, x-axis. Now, actually, that's all we even need, um, but let's just go ahead here and try this out, because hopefully this will work. Um, let's play. Alright, so let's move along here. I, you can add some um, other buttons and some cheats if you want. Okay. There you go. You won. Um, so now... Okay. Actually, we want to Alt-H to unhide. Um, move this down a little bit more. Okay. Now go into edit mode, press W, and subdivide. Let's subdivide it two times. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Now, you want to go ahead here and sign. Yeah. I'm going to do black first. Add. Add a new color, white. I'm gonna make this all make it. Yeah. All right. We can barely see it, but um. You probably see what I'm doing here. Oh, man. There you go. A sign. Oh, come on, that's okay. There you go. Okay, that didn't work. Do we look the side? Side is actually you can, but I mean, well, it's just not really useful. Um, you won't, you won't see these, anyways. 
Okay, so it looks like I actually selected the wrong side here. Um, just press me um, if you have trouble looking. Um, that's, that's me. Really, it doesn't really matter. Um, just select the ones on the top. So try to check every time. Try to do at an angle. Oh, man. It's hard. Because especially since it's black, I think I think um, I recommend you starting with white because um, that way you can see it better. Sorry, um, oh, I need to hurry up here. Especially A, and just try to select everything. Okay, and let's zoom in here a bit. Sorry. That should be for that. Nope. Yes, finally. That should be for that. Yep. Okay. And then we select that and that. Okay. Finally, select that and sign. And A. Okay. So now if we go back. Alright, that's a little bit better. Oh, wait. Um, I think we should have assigned the maze a little different color. Um, but that'll work. Alright, you can also shift A. Nope, I mean shift C. Then shift A, and then add a plane. I'm gonna add a plane, you can add a cube or anything. I um, like that. Rotate 190. I mean, X90, sorry. Move this like that all the way to the end. So let's try to move the cube a little bit forward. And just slide this cube, I mean the plane, just behind the cube like that. Kind of just, just make it a little bit, position it a little bit. And we're not... Okay. I'm gonna join this with the maze. No, right here, you see here, you can't go behind here. Okay, so. Okay, now if we play. Well, let's see here. Bam, we did the game. It just starts, you know, just ends the game. You can have it start over or get to another, get another level. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you play. Actually, we should add another control here, really. So I'm just about to show you here how to you know, actually um, add some cheese and that kind of stuff. I think you should, I think you already know how to do that right now. Um, but nonetheless, uh, we can also add some like um, something here. So I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna do um, shift for sprinting and controller. You can add motion. So again, it's the same thing here. Um, you see, this is you can just make this you know like ten. You know. So now if we play, see if we press that, you're going slowly. Let's go to the shift and see here, we go a lot faster. You, know, you, can, you can definitely see the difference here, right? Yeah. Um, another cool feature here we could do is um, you could try to, you could um, give the maze a, um, oh, actually, um, yeah, we could get, I don't know if this will work actually. Um, these um, collision maze. Um, if it collides with the walls of the maze, I don't know if the f I know the floor would count. So um, I need to make sure I need to position the cube directly. Like yeah, I don't think it will work because it's not you know. You could delete these really, uh, but we start getting. But yeah. 
can do without him. But what if we move this down a little bit? Okay, yeah, it doesn't work. Um, what if we actually make this just for once? Um, ah, it doesn't work. I mean, if we make this static here, then we can go right through the walls, see? And that won't be any fun. Okay, well then, let's just delete that. Sorry, um, that won't work. Let's make it back to character. You can add a sensor. Um, okay. You can add a sensor, keyboard, and space. You probably know what we're gonna do now. Um, add actuator, motion. So right now it says simple motion. You can change it to character motion and press jump. So now, there's also some things like, you know, jump force and all that stuff. So if we, like, play, see, jumps. It doesn't jump really high, um, but I mean, that's still good. You don't want it to jump over the walls, do you? Do you? Yeah. You win the game. Okay, so now, um, here's where you can add enemies. So this is getting particularly long, but, um, I don't really mind that because we're having some fun. Okay, so okay, you so want to go to another layer, Shift A, and I'm um, gonna do a UV Sphere. So scale this thing down a little bit because our maze is pretty small. And now we are going to be um, first of all, let's just assign it a color. I'm gonna make this red because it kind of like you know evil, but um. Make this, um, I don't know, evil. Oh, that didn't work. Extensor. Always. And, um, okay, so, um, oh, come on, I forgot here. Um, what was it again? Property. No? Um, oh, yeah, steering. So you can have path falling, flee, or seek. If flee, that means running away from. You don't want it to run away from, you know, like your person. I mean, unless you're trying to kill them. Who's trying to kill this red dude, I guess you say? Um. So, um, when you pass falling, I actually could add somebody that's running away, but target object is going to be our um, cube here. Navigation mesh, we don't need that right now, actually. This is all we actually need. We connect that and that. We go back to the first layer. Right now, if we play, of course, there's nothing. Um, because this thing here is on the other layer, it's not smart in. So now I want to shift A and add an empty. That's basically what um, spawns in those stuff. I'm using a Saphir empty. And I'm going to spawn it in here. Um, don't spawn it in like, directly on top. I'm going to make it, yeah, I'm going to make it inside here. Um, make it right here. So it's a little corner here. Maybe we could add like some good person, you know? I mean, this is this, it could be pretty fun that, I mean, if, you know, you could have somebody that, you know, you could have, you know, some kind of game, I don't know. It would be fun, but, um, anyways, now you want to add a sensor. Always, don't touch it always. Um, if you mess with it, it might go wrong. But it should spawn in, so we're going to do edit object, add object, and press Saphir. So now if we do it, we play, so it spawns the Saphir. Well, of course, right now, um, the Saphir is you know, not moving. Um, 
Yeah, it's really just not right now. Just completely not moving. So, um, what do you want to do here? So, first of all, um, wake up. Alright, so, um, okay, <clears throat> so first of all here, you want to make this thing here, um, I'm probably going to do dynamic, let's check it out, um, yeah, that should work, now, oops, it's gonna work. Yeah, see, it's. Now that seems like actually a pretty fun game here. If we can, like, just push this thing around. Um. Now, you know, it's like stuck, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, remember the jump function. Like, roll this thing down here. Okay, but, anyways, here. <coughs> Okay, I, I think I did do something wrong here. Um, it's it's perfectly always here. Okay, I I just suddenly you know. Um, Let's actually say that. Um, no. <sighs> Should do tutorial. Not tutorials. One game. Okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and actually open up um, another one. This one I. How did I forget? Um, wait. Um, let's go to our stuff right here. Yeah, it's actually sink. So yes, I had to. I had to. I just had to go ahead here. Um, no, you probably should have just completely skip the video here, like from there. Okay, now it's working. Sorry, guys. Path falling is a little different. Like it follows me. It's like you know. Obviously, you don't want this thing to be kissing his butt here. It's like going here at full speed. Actually, I think that's good. Go at the same speed, probably. Um. Okay, come on. Axism. Collision. Okay, so what's this guy's property? Evil. Yeah, evil. Now I remember. Uh, so evil, we collided with evil, and at actuator, the object that's gonna be end object. You know, you can do a lot of other things like the place mesh and all that stuff. I mean, you know, you could like, you know, like there's you know, live and all that stuff, and I'll cover that also later. Um, now if we play. Take a look at what happens. Okay, I think this is like. Okay, yeah. I just died. Yeah. So um, I am. Uh, I just die. Um, and the collision here. I've actually never done this before. Um, but. No clue if this is ever gonna work. Um, I'm also experiment, experimenting here a little bit too here. Okay, yeah, that doesn't work. I hope don't want. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm nervous. Okay, yeah, I just see that it just kind of just kind of glitches here. Um, 
um, eh, it's just gonna be see through. But if you want, um, again, as I said, if I add like you know, um, shift A, add you know, add. Uh, let's see, okay. And maybe add the same. <laughs> then you could have it, you know, you want some sort of always and um, steering and flee from key. So, um, Okay, so if we go back here, add, it's empty, we just do, um, oh no, just do the plain axis. Um, plain axis on D here. Pull this up a little bit. Oh no. Alright. Okay, okay, and uh, this thing I feel like yeah, uh, oh, that's gonna be fine. Um, I have to make it um, I have to make it dynamic though. Okay, let's return. So with the empty here, empty, empty. So can't even locate the empty now. I think we um, lost it. We lost it. We lost it. Where's the empty? I'll just search here. Okay, I can't, for some reason I couldn't click it. Okay, ask me, sir. Always. And. And then we're gonna be doing. No. Okay. Edit object. Add object. Then we're gonna do the. Yeah. Alright. Now if you play. Yeah, it's yeah, still, still not. Didn't work. Um. But yeah, just play around here. Sorry, I mean, it didn't really work. Um, I was embarrassed. Um. Hello. It would be pretty cool. I mean, if you know. Well, I mean, if you can like, yeah, that may be an idea actually. Um, maybe you can know. Actually, you can create a game where you kind of like use, you know, blocks or to create a, like a shield or something. Yeah. Um. Anyways, let's play around here. Um, I know some of the basics here. Um, then you can you can do parent, you know, all that. Edit object. Maybe you can you know. Replace mesh with you know a plane, um, oh, no, not the plane, like you know, with a sphere, you know, um, when collision with um, cube, and I mean, this would be pretty interesting, you know, just play around. I mean, actually, I could try this out, play. Look. Okay, yeah, it didn't work. But yeah, I mean, you know, of course, I mean, yeah, I just kind of rushed that. But, um, anyways, this will be the end of this episode. See you next time.